This is going to be highly confusing. Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Eleanor's way back there running around in the leaves. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Did you guys know there's like a 6.30 in the morning? I had no idea. It's so dark. Oh, you probably can't see them. But it's so dark that the stars are still out. I'm letting the dogs out. I have to uh, drive my sister to the Flint Airport today. She flew in from Arizona. She doesn't really like to be on camera, so you guys don't see her much. But my sister Casey, for those of you that watch that may know who she is. Uh, my dad is actually not feeling too great. So I said, well, there's no point in him driving six hours round trip. So my mom and I are taking my sister to the Flint Airport this morning. Hopefully Jamie will remember to uh, film taking care of all the pumpkins because I'm going to miss it. The magic disappearance after the day after Halloween, I won't be here for. <laughs> Feels so weird filming in the dark and not seeing the pumpkins lit up. Goodbye, pumpkins. I think Jamie's going to try to film what he's doing while I'm gone, so you should still get to see the process. But I'm going to get in this car and I'm going to take my mom and my sister downstate, so here we go. Here we are at the compost pile. Greg's helping me throw some pumpkins. And that's that's where they're gonna go. They're gonna go right there. We'll cover them. I know, right? That that was one of the one gently down, you? Then I'll throw another one at So they'll be gone soon. So half the pile's out. Most of them. Yep, most of them. We are, yeah, we got room to stand. My dinosaur. Crazy. All that work. <laughs> Just to make a compost pile. Which in what? Two years? This will be great compost. Spring it'll be gone. Spring it'll be gone for sure. Yeah. But then I'll mix it a few times. Yep. You know, till it around. We got the straw to cover it in. And it'll just compost up. Make great topsoil. All right. We'll look at the barn kitties. So everybody was wanting to know. Are these all three of them right here? This is the, or is that Mr. Two. Yeah, here's two. These are the two that the kittens, and that's the one I had already had. Uh, they're not skinny anymore. No. No, they're them. cuties. You don't have farm etiquette yet. You'll, you'll get it, though. Yeah, they got farm <laughs> they're so right, I would say they're right underneath the trailer. <laughs> All right, back to throwing pumpkins. Oh, my goodness. Girls, up there! Did you miss me? Say, Mom, you already came in the door once and we freaked out. So we're not gonna freak out again. Are you not gonna freak out again? What's with these floofs? Right, there's some floofs coming off your side there. You got some floofs coming off. What's up with that? What's up with the floofs, huh? Hi, baby, it's Daniel. That's gone all day. And guess what? Memphis and I get to be gone all day again soon. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. So uh, let's go out, let's, I'm gonna go out there without them and show you guys what happened. So I don't know if you guys saw it, but while I was gone, Halloween disappeared. Look at me. Jamie got everything cleaned up, put away, cleaned up the lawn, and uh, Halloween is gone. It's like the magic of the night. It's all there last night and then poof, gone. What are you looking at? What are you, what are you looking at? I see you. What are you, what's your little nose? I see your little nose. You're like, Ma, come back inside. Ma, you've been gone all day. Come back inside. Okay, I'm coming back inside. And here it all is. So they got all of the tombstones, the pumpkins. Greg is actually, so I don't know if you guys know the story behind my horse here. We'll move him out of the way for a minute. I'll give you the story behind my Halloween horse. I may have told this story a long time ago on a vlog, but this is my Halloween horse. You will notice that he's actually a very old kid's toy. It's one of those rocky horses that you sit on and he moves. Greg and I found this thing at a garage sale for $5. And for years I kept it and said, one of these days we're going to turn it into a Halloween horse. And then a couple years, well, quite a few years ago now, Greg took it and he airbrushed the whole thing. He didn't have a ton of time, which is why the saddle's black. But he noticed this Halloween that 
The mane has faded a lot from what it used to look like. So we are actually going to give this to Greg again, and he's going to paint it hopefully before next Halloween. And he's going to do like all of it. So the, the, the saddle he'll do and the, the blanket, and then he'll make, he'll make this all nice and bright red again. And we might put some LED eyes in it. Hopefully we haven't decided yet. So eventually you'll see that and it'll be better. There's all the straw bales that helped hold everything up. And then there's the dragon. He's right there in a the box. And there's my skeleton dude with his dogs. He's right there. It's all pretty much uh, put away. Oh, and then Jamie's pukey skeleton with the bucket. <laughs> That's all done too. And we got one bucket of seeds. We're going to spread all these out. Those will be for planting for pumpkins for next year. I know, there's been so many puppers here the past few days and you've played with so many puppers, but there's no puppers coming over. Nobody's here. There's no puppers coming over today. They do not seem to care. <laughs> so Kasha Daniel and Banana from Creative Pet Keeping actually went over to Traverse City and uh, Charles and Thor went with them because I had to drive and go to the airport all day today. So we might see them again soon, but they're not coming back over today. Are you happy? We're happy you home. Oh look, I was just gonna say, I gotta get you off the couch. But look, you did it yourself. Come on out, ma'am. Come on out, Queenie. She's like, I'm out. I'm out. Don't push me over. There's no dogs out here to knock you down. Well, except those two. They might knock you down. <laughs> oh, or they might knock each other down. Well, I think they're crazy, Memphis. I think they've got some cooped up energy. What do you think? Yeah? Cooped up energy. Eleanor, you got some floofies coming off of you. She's like, I know, mm, the floofies. <laughs> oh my goodness. You girls are crazy. You're just crazy. I also thought since I showed you outside, I should show you the inside progress as well. We got mostly cleaned up down here. Mostly, you can see there's no pumpkin on the floor. So I didn't film it last night, but everybody came down here and had food and stuff. So we kind of had to clean all this up so everybody could come down and eat. And now uh, we get to put all this back together. Still work to do down here, but you know, less pumpkin. Look at it. the table's like clean and the floor is like clean. I told you as soon as pumpkin dries, you just vacuum it right up. Works pretty good. You know what the worst thing about this time of the year is? Well, I can't say the weather because it's actually been beautiful. But it's the fact that it's early, and it's dark, and the time's gonna change. Oh, that tree looks so cool. The time's gonna change, and it's gonna start getting dark earlier. Hey, Mr. Bright Light, why did you go dim? Just complaining about the light, and then you went dim. I was just like, hmm, maybe we go swimming. No, I don't think we're going swimming. Like I said, well, I didn't even know I was gonna have to make that drive today, but we did it. It took me eight hours. I was going for eight hours. I had to drive all the way down. I mean, on a good note, we did stop at the casino and my mom turned $40 into $400. So I think uh, I made the trip worth it. She filled my gas tank and she bought me lunch. <laughs> uh, oh goodness. What? What was that? You just like, you literally just knocked her down. She didn't even try. Are you, aren't you girls all played out with all your friends that were here for like six days in a row? I'm gonna take this as a no. Do not bump into Memphis. Ooh, Kira's got all teeth showing. Oh gosh. What do you think I'm crazy monkeys, Memphis? She's like, I don't know. Can we go snuggle? Yes, let's go snuggle. Hey girls! They disappeared. Did they disappear in the leaves? Are they gone forever? Where did they go? They're like silent. Come on girls! You hungry? Memphis, I think we lost them. Oh, maybe? Did we, are they there? Hey, look, the moon! We love the moon! How many of you know where that's from? We love the moon! Come on, let's go! They're like, no, we stay outside forever. It's beautiful. Come on, let's go! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, I'll save you! I'll save you! Uh, well, I'll, I'll try to save you. So, before I forget to say all the things that I wanted to say, because I already forgot, because if you can't tell, it, it's morning again. <laughs> for those of you that came over and helped us carve pumpkins, thank you so much. And thank you to all of you that enjoy the show. The people that come in person, the people that look forward to this video every single year. The, I think I said this already, but this is our 20th year doing the pumpkin display. And it's, it's, like, it's like my Christmas. It's like my birthday week. You guys know my birthday is two days after Christmas. So a lot of people are really busy. So this for me is like 
a birthday week. <laughs> All our friends and family come over and we just have so much fun and the dogs had so much fun playing with all of their friends. It was amazing. It was another absolutely amazing Halloween. And I just want to say thank you guys, not just for, you know, enjoying this video or, you know, the Halloween video, but like all the videos and everything we do, we really appreciate you guys. You guys, you guys are pretty freaking cool. And as a reminder, if you want to meet the dogs, we're going to be in Novi like next weekend, November. 11th, 12th, and 13th. There's a little thing that usually pops up and kind of lets you guys know. Or if you go to our Facebook page, it's under our events. And for those of you that keep asking if we're going to be somewhere else, we know of at least one more place that we're supposed to be, but we're trying to finalize everything and hopefully that'll all get done this week. And then we have some potential places for next year. So there's going to be some more opportunities for you guys to meet the dogs for sure. But for now, run through the leaves. Okay, that was super cute. Kira's back there watching Squirrel. We're going to call it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we'll see you again soon. Good night, audience. I thought for sure Kira was at, the, oh, there was the squirrel. I thought for sure at some point Kira was gonna run this way, but I didn't re realize the squirrel was right, right there. All right, good night, audience.